We are asked to solve the equation x cubed minus 49x equals 0. We will solve this equation by factoring. Remember, the first step in factoring is always to factor out the greatest common factor. Looking at the two terms on the left side, they both share a common factor of x. x is the greatest common factor. To show this, we could write each term as a product with a factor of x. For example, x cubed is equal to x squared times x minus 49x means 49 times x. This is an optional step, but it can be helpful because we can actually see the greatest common factor of x. We can also see the remaining factor in each term after factoring out x. So if we factor out x, we can see we're left with x squared minus 49, and this product is equal to zero. Now we need to see if we can factor x squared minus 49 further. We should recognize this as a difference of squares because x squared is a perfect square and so is 49. 49 is equal to seven squared or seven times seven. So again, if it's helpful, we could rewrite this again as x times the quantity x squared minus seven squared equals zero. And for review, here's the formula for factoring a difference of squares. We will have a factor of x plus seven and a factor of x minus seven. So factoring further, we have x times the quantity x plus seven times the quantity x minus seven equals zero. Now that we have the left side of the equation factored completely and the right side is equal to zero, the product on the left must equal zero and this product is equal to zero if x equals zero or x plus seven equals zero or x minus seven equals zero. And this is called the zero product property. And now we solve each of these equations for x. This equation is already solved for x. To solve for x here, we subtract seven on both sides, which gives us x equals negative seven. And solving this equation for x, we add seven to both sides, giving us x equals positive seven. So we have three solutions. Our solutions are x equals zero, or x equals negative seven, or x equals positive seven. Before we go, let's check this solution graphically by graphing y equals x cubed minus 49x. So again, to check our solution graphically, if we're given the equation x cubed minus 49x equals zero, we graph the equation or the function y or f of x equals x cubed minus 49x. Now that we have the graph, we wanna find the point on the graph where y is equal to zero Remember, y is equal to zero anywhere on the horizontal axis or x-axis, and therefore the solutions will be the x-intercepts or horizontal intercepts of the graph. Looking at the graph, notice this point would be the ordered pair negative seven comma zero. So when x is negative seven, y is zero, which is a solution to our equation. This point on the graph is the origin where we have zero comma zero. When x is zero, the y value is zero, which gives us a solution to the equation. And then finally, this point here is represented by the ordered pair seven comma zero, telling us that when x is zero, y is zero, which again gives us a solution to the equation. So this verifies our solutions are negative seven, zero, and positive seven. I hope you found this helpful.